Hank Williams Jr.'s 22-year recording career recently produced his 52nd album, Montana Cafe. This week, in the second and final part of Janet Tyson's exclusive interview with Bo Cephas, he talks about the inspiration for his critically acclaimed album now in its fourth week at Billboard's number one spot. The Montana Cafe was on Main Street in Hamilton, Montana. And it was there for uh, 40 or 50 years. And I drove by there one day and saw that old hand-painted western block window and the way it was just Montana Cafe, Good Eats. I said, I want to write a, a song about that, you know. The special here is not the steaks or the pies, it's peace of mind. With songs like Country State of Mind, Montana Cafe praises the simple things in life. But there's also a tune with real pop hit potential, a smoking cover of the Bo Diddley classic You Can't Judge a Book by Looking at the Cover, a duet with rock and roller Huey Lewis. He loves the blues, he plays the harp, I love the blues, I play the guitar, and I love Bo Diddley, and he loved Bo Diddley. You know, it could be a, a, a crossover signal sometime, we, we never know, but it has gotten a lot of play out of there. And it was one of the most fun songs on, on that album to do. But that's what I try to have as a key on all of them. They're fun on the show, and they're fun on the album, and they're fun to the person that's listening to it. They come close, but Hank Jr.'s albums just can't capture the amazing energy of his stage show. His riotous, unpredictable antics have even made adoring fans out of one of the most volatile rock groups around, Van Halen. They get on MTV, and they wear both Eva's hats, and... They say that I make most big punk rockers look like wimps, and uh, gosh, their new HBO special, you know, Bocevas rules and knows all, and oh, Alex Van Halen, you know, how, how, how can you, uh, you know, it's just hard to imagine. You just don't imagine you're going to have friends like that. And a lot of my old rowdy friends have passed away and gone, but I, thank goodness I've got some new ones. Not everybody loves me. But those that do will fight right to the end because I got guitar friends from legendary Saturday nights. In those and all the legendary Saturday nights to come, he's carved his place in country music right alongside Hank Williams Sr. That's because Hank Jr. knew he couldn't just be his daddy's son. He had the courage to be different and the wisdom to know that nothing good can ever stay the same. The old cafe is now a dress shop. Just as that album was finished, you know, the, the man that owned it, you know, he's over 70 years old. And uh, it is no more, but I uh, bought the, the old windows and the old sign, you know, for next to nothing. And who knows, when I'm 70 years old, there may be another Montana cafe there. Hank Jr. is one of the original Southern rockers. Along with Leonard Skinner, the Allman Brothers, and the Marshall Tucker Band, he pioneered a supercharged synthesis of rockabilly, boogie, and blues that pulled the South into the musical mainstream in the 